In this video for A-level chemistry, I'm going to take a look at sigma bonding. So we see sigma bonding in all organic compounds and generally, and certainly for the purpose of A-level, we can say that all single covalent bonds are sigma bonds. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to illustrate what sigma bonding is by looking at the bonding in alkanes. So obviously we need to start by looking at a typical carbon atom in an alkane. So we've got one on the screen there. And you can see we've got the four uh, valence electrons in these four identical orbitals. Now you might be wondering what shape, what's the shape of that orbital. It's not a P orbital. It's not an S orbital. It's actually what we call a hybrid orbital. Um, and it's called an sp3 hybrid orbital. Now, you don't need to know um, how these orbitals come about for A-level chemistry. If you did want to know, I have made a video about it. So just I'll put the link on the screen now. So if you wanted to look at that, um, feel free to do that. But like I said before, you don't need to know where these orbitals come from. You just need to know that carbon has four valence electrons in four identical orbitals. Okay, so if we bring another carbon atom into play with its four valence electrons in these identical orbitals, we can bond the two carbon atoms together by directly overlapping the orbitals, so like this. So what we've got here, this bond between these two carbon atoms this is what we call a sigma bond. And the reason it's called a sigma bond is because the overlap of the orbitals has been direct, end-to-end, -end, head to head, anything like that is okay to say. So you can see we've got a shared pair of electrons between the two carbons, so it's a covalent bond, but because of the way the orbitals have overlapped, we give it this special name, we call it a sigma bond. Now, obviously, to turn this into an alkane, we need some hydrogen atoms. So there they are there, drawn in pink. And you can see that each hydrogen um, atom has got its one valence electron, and it's in an S orbital. So obviously, we've got the spherical shape now for the orbital. So again, if we overlap the orbitals directly, we can make more sigma bonds, but these would be carbon-hydrogen sigma bonds. So I'll just grab that one there. So I'm overlapping the orbitals directly or end-to-end. -end, so that is now a carbon-hydrogen sigma bond. So I'll do that with the rest. Now, the final thing to say is because of the, the way the orbitals have overlapped, so this head-to-head, -head, direct, end-to-end -end overlap of orbitals, you can see the electron density is directly along the bonding axis. So because of this, these sigma bonds can rotate. So the easiest way to illustrate that is with a molly mod. So I've got butane here. So these are all your sigma bonds. So there's your carbon hydrogen sigma bond and these are carbon carbon sigma bonds. So free rotation around the bond, the bonding axis. So that means that this configuration of butane is no different to that configuration of butane. Okay. So the bonds can freely rotate around their axes.